Hello everyone, AM Harbinger here, and today I will do a reaction video for Final Fantasy VII Remake, the opening movie. Now this just came out today, and I know I'm a little late because it came out several hours ago, as you can see by the number, 32,000 people have watched it, but you know, this is on the official channel, and of course, more people watch it on the other net, on other channels like IGN and GameSpot, but... Yeah, I'm really excited for this game, as you probably already know if you watched my other reaction video or seen my streams. I love Final Fantasy, and this is one of my most highly anticipated games ever since it was teased in the tech test for the PlayStation 3. I think that was like decade a decade ago, but maybe it was much uh, a little older. But yeah, it's been a while, and it's finally coming this April 10th. And let's see how the opening movie works. And if it also is a, just a direct rip from the original game, let's just play this and see now. <laughs>
Get down here, Merc. Oh my god! <laughs> and part one released in April 10th. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. I especially love the opening scene where they show uh, they have the low key Sephiroth song, like a, re a rendition of his song singing as you see the outskirts of Midgard. This, of course, being the area where Zack fought the Shinra army before he died and Cloud took over. And then, you know, the whole memory issue started to play out where he believed he was Zack and everything. And then, I especially love uh, this entire opening sequence. You get to see Midgar, uh, at least the different sections of Midgar. Like, uh, here, like in the original Final Fantasy VII, it wasn't really, uh, I would say, a level of detail to showcase the high society as opposed to the slums. Like, here, you can see all the uh, high-level areas, like... It's very clean, lots of businesses, it's cl the people seem to be much more uh, fit and fed. But as the kids start to roll down the street, you see things start to decay quickly. These are much more working class, I would say middle class people. You can see the streets are getting a little more dirty as you go down. There's a stray dog mal malnourished and you can see the area is a little more deteriorated. A lot more construction is being done. And then we get to the slum area where everything just looks like, yeah, see? And uh, people who played the original Final Fantasy VII will know this area. That is the park area where Cloud and Aerith spoke one-on-one -on -one after meeting and Cloud tries to sneak out. And then we see Tifa in the carriage getting to, uh, taken to Don Cornero's area to find out more about how he knows about Avalanche. And it turns out he's a double agent. Well, he's not a double agent. He's an agent. Of course, this is just symbolism right here. The planet is dying, and uh, Shinra is using the live stream for Mako Energy. Not anything is growing. That's just major symbolism there. We fast forward. This scene is absolutely breathtaking with the lighting and everything, like the clouds moving apart. The particle effects is brilliant. And then we get Aerith talking to the planet here, which people will know is from the original open scene. This is where the actual open scene for Final Fantasy VII starts with Aerith seeing that the planet is in danger and she's still not fully aware that she's a Cetra or she's blocking it out. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I played Final Fantasy VII, but she's not aware that she's a Cetra, but she does hear that the planet is crying and she is listening. And here she hears again, someone is probably following her or it could be the planet yelling at her that Sephiroth is rebuilding his body because while everything is happening, Sephiroth is rebuilding himself in order to try and, you know, be reborn with his godlike energy. And we get here where we get more symbolism. She's carrying flowers and this asshole who could clearly see that, like, look at this asshole. You can clearly see she's picking up the flowers and you just walk on top of it. You gotta be a special type of jerk, but yeah, the planet is dying and Aerith is the only one who could heal it. I especially love her hair. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. It's like every strain has been detailed. I wonder if they... You know, it reminds me of uh, Tangled with Rapunzel or Super Mario Odyssey where they're like, each individual hair you can see. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you saw while I was watching the trailer, I was circling this. Loveless, the epic poem that Genesis was obsessed with. Genesis being the character from Final, uh, Cri Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core or was Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII? I can't remember which direction the title goes but it's one of the best prequels ever made and it's a game i highly recommend to everyone anyone who loves final fantasy 7 of course genesis was also shown at the end of dirge of cerberus but of course that game never got a sequel because it did poorly and it was a bad game but you know i kind of want to see where they were going with that either way then we get the iconic opening where you get to see all of midgar and you can really see the details here. I mean, look at that. That's obviously the upper society. And as you go down, you get to the lower society. We get the iconic theme, uh, logo with remake. I mean, that, that just looks beautiful. And we get Cloud here. This is something I noticed. Like, you can see the material slot right here. He has a material in there. So, um, for those who don't know, Cloud opens up with ice and lightning, I believe, as his starting material when he's uh, heading into Avalanche's... Uh, first mission well his first mission with avalanche and we have the iconic scene where we get 
bits of the train as the camera paint, uh, pans into the train station, this view. But of course they made it much more detailed as we get to see the Shinra soldiers investigate the train before they're attacked by Weds, Briggs, uh, Jesse, and Barrett. But you know, you know what I just noticed? From the material slots, uh, where is it? We only see one. Like, there's only one glow in here. There should be two. Huh. I could have swore there were two. I saw two somewhere. Maybe it's here. There's still just one. Wait, let's see this scene again. I don't know. I can't see the second material slot. Maybe you put it there. I know I'm being a stickler for the detail, but it's just, it's kind of annoying me now. I can't see the second material slot. If you see it, tell me, no, uh, tell me in the comments below. But I do love, there is a lot of attention to detail here. Like, this is another thing I noticed. Like, from the trailer, you can see that the Shinra's badge is kind of worn. And his armor is worn. It's really well done. I mean, look at these graphics. They're outstanding. Wow, how the hell does Square Enix do this? This is beautiful. I mean, look at Barrett. He looks outstanding with his Gatling gun and everything. It's been meticulously designed with his tattoos. Wow, it is brilliant. But yeah, this game looks incredible. Of course, this is just part one. Part two is right now in development. And we did get a whole bunch of new screenshots which show Carbuncle. Uh, we saw a bunch of combat scenes with Tifa. And we saw Hojo in much more detail. We did see a, see a few scenes of events that transpire after Disc 1 when uh, President uh, when President Shinra is murdered by Sephiroth and this gang has to flee the city because they believe they did it. But we haven't really seen the open world of how it's going to work. Like how are you going to travel through it. They obviously can't use the original Final Fantasy 7 system. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do that. And another thing I like to make note of is just how beautiful Aerith looks. Like her emerald eyes are so gorgeous. It's, it reminds me a lot of Uncharted 2 and 3 with Chloe's eyes. They, I just have a thing for green eyes. They look absolutely beautiful. And of course her hair looks incredible. Square Enix really went above and beyond with the details in this game. It's outstanding. And of course I'm going to like and put a comment. Love it because people need to see this. Absolutely beautiful. So Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out on PlayStation 4 on April 10th. Can't wait for it. I, part 1 comes out on April 10th. Can't wait for it. I love what I'm seeing, and I can't wait to play the game. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment. It helps smaller YouTubes like myself to uh, try and gain traction. It's becoming much more difficult. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, everyone. Oh, yeah, and check out my other reaction videos. I'll put them in the description below, including my uh, non-commentary walkthrough of Final Fantasy IX Remastered. Hey, if you like Final Fantasy, you might as well see why Final Fantasy IX is one of my favorite twos and one of the best Final Fantasy ever made. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. See you guys.